this is hydrogen tap what you're looking at here is a new configuration I'm going to be using with the Honda I've decided against the two plate system and going back to the air and cell configuration there'll be 16 plates instead of 15 each plate will be 3 by 8 instead of 3 by 6 the plate is 0 0.028 thick and it's going to be mounted in an acrylic clear housing same acrylic that I've been selling for the cells on hydrogentap.com it's 12.33 in the morning Thursday morning so I've been working uh, pretty long here I've decided to use the air and cell configuration so I can get more area out of it. The two cell configuration was too big and bulky to work with and too hard to handle. As you can see here is the way the air and cell has been constructed and now I have a few templates that I use to make it with. It's a piece of acrylic that gives me the sizes since most of the cells have evolved into a pretty steady hard system. I've increased the shop hardware with another bandsaw this is bandsaw 2 this is the bandsaw I used to cut the plates I do all this myself so it does get rather tedious to give you some kind of idea of what I have to go through to cut each cell this is done for every plate in every cell that is being sold. The reason for the second bandsaw is so I can leave setups or I can leave the jig set up so I can make the cells easier. There you can see the cutout. Once this is done and mounted in an acrylic base, I'm going to be using distilled water in the lye that I've been talking about. The lye is really cheap and it does not take very much to make a good electrolyte. So you can see the tap hole that the electrode goes through. finally went out and bought some gloves to handle these plates. You get a lot of cuts handling stainless steel. So make sure that you wear gloves when you're handling this stuff. I'm hoping after this is done that I'll be able to get the car, the Honda, to
to idle with the amount of hydrogen oxygen that is coming out of here. I'm going to be feeding it first into the intake manifold or where the filter is. I've got received a lot of email giving me some suggest, suggestions of how to mount this and we'll see what happens hopefully tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday. You'll be following with me. I'll have the camera all the way. Each one of these, this is where the electrode goes through. As you can see, each one of them has to be tapped. First the holes drilled, then I've got to tap each one of them so that the electrode will go through it evenly and smooth. Remember, this has to be done with every single plate in the cell. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody to do this. I know I could find a shop to do it, but it means more money. I'm trying to keep the price down on the cells so everyone can get them. I've had a lot of response all over the world. A lot of people are using these cells. Remember, when you get them, even though they are reversible, you must use gloves to handle this. You're going to end up with a lot of cuts. You can see my glove hand there. It's got a lot of places where I've uh, run the plates across. You can see the bench, the setup where I have the tops of these cell systems that are ready to be mounted. That was an interesting mistake. Hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be able to have these mounted in this acrylic. All Aaron cells that I'm selling have acrylic bases and acrylic tops. They're a half inch thick. The only difference here is I'm using an acrylic tube. 